going on G.I. Joe fans, Sentex Collector here with another review for Classified Shipwreck Figure 70. Thanks to my buddy Swag Collecting for being able to acquire this for me. Here's a UPC if you need it. Because I was not going to pay any type of price anywhere close to full price. I was trying to find him on clearance. So he got him for me for a good price. This is the windowless packaging. Here's your accessories in the box. And oh, empty space there. I've never seen that before in the windowless. And here he is. He's got the paper tie downs. So I'm going to go ahead and crack him out. Well, I guess that's one way to get your minimum daily requirement of vitamin C. <laughs> Cut me some slack, Polly. All right, here we go. First impression definitely reminds me of the original from 85. We'll go over the differences and the similarities in a minute. Just for transparency, I can't I can't stand or couldn't stand shipwreck. His character to me was just stupid. You know, shipwreck means screw up in naval terms. You know, from the naval aspect, they needed somebody from representation. So, you know, shipwreck was the early representation of the Navy. I do like shipwreck when he's, you know, in his Navy SEAL type attire. But this shipwreck, you know, try, they try making him Mr. Loverboy and... He was a screw up, just like his name says, so I can't stand the character, but like I said, later iterations in Navy SEALs, they had a really good one, the 25th anniversary line I really liked, um, but the character, the only reason I got him is because, uh, you know, I'm kind of chasing the line, so I have most, most of the figures, so the only reason I got him, if not, I would have never bought him, to me he's just an idiot, worthless character, um, whatever, so just transparency so i have a dire for him he's just a worthless character yeah he was kind of funny in the cartoons which is because he was so stupid and such a screw up but anyway i digress so let's get into it so we got polly his talking parrot which is probably smarter than him so here's your polly it's kind of weird because the old polly the 118 scale is as big as the 112 scale so was the 118 scale side or the one for the original ara shipwreck too big <laughs> so that's funny and then the original one i'm not sure if i have a complete one but he has this rope and these attachments to each end so i'm assuming that's what we kind of have here is we have a rope and we have like this hook attachment here. The rope, the rope doesn't come undone, but it looks like that hook can hook onto there to that rope attachment. So, and then he's got this weird pistol with this like knot thing at the end. So I'm assuming. This is like an old school. So it's like an old. Could you see that um, chamber barrel thing? I feel like it's an old, old pistol from like World War II times or something. And he's got the more modern pistol. It must be a reuse because it's like this is supposed to have a silencer on the end of it. But more of a modern pistol. It looks like they got some decorative in there. It looks like they actually have like. That's a cross or like something to do with sailor. Yeah, it's got like it looks like a boat anchor there. So it's like they actually put some yeah, like there's a boat anchor there if you can see it. But they put some decorative on the pistol. It's crazy. He's got a leg pistol here. And then if you want to take his seaman's cap off and put his regular hair on. And then use his head sculpt to make him Navy Seal Shipwreck. It's like this chest. I think he came out before Mutt. So they must have reused this chest for Mutt. Because they got the 
chest hair here. Yeah, it looks like that was probably a reuse from Mutt then. But we'll put on his sailor cap. And let's look at old school versus classified. So yeah, they got the edges there just like the, the bell bottom type pants. He's got like looks like boots. Black. And then he's got the pistol, just like that one did. And he's got a pouch, just like the 85 did. And the belt buckle looks the same. It's like a sailor. Yeah, it's a sailor belt buckle. It's got like the sailor uh, hook there. And then this side, he's got another pouch. And then they added this for a reason. I don't like that gun. It's got to be significance behind it, though. He's got his rank over here. It's like the original. He's got his boat anchor tattoo here. Black gloves, just like the original. And then he's got like a... He's got a hole in his wrist here. Oh, I guess that's where Polly... Yeah, Polly can sit there on the hole. And he's got another tattoo over here. Rank over here again, unlike the original, that was probably cost on the RR, unless mine rubbed off. I'm assuming it's probably cost. Blue shirt to match. White cap, has goatee and beard. Yes, I did a really good job of replicating original shipwreck likely the like and feel of it so like I said I would never bought this figure I mean if you're into shipwreck or navy or whatever but I can't stand shipwreck feet kind of minimal there because the bell bomb type pants yeah slight ankle roll because the bell bomb pants gets in the way double jointed knees upper leg I move me here in the legs. And then the hands. I was going to swap out the hands. We've got. Yeah, we got wrist movement there. Sort of. Not really good though. And then double jointed elbows. For some reason the elbow looks lighter than the arm. He's got some butterfly joint here. He's got full rotation in the arms. There's nothing in the way. He's got the 90 degree up there. It's like this gun is just in the way. I'm not a fan of that gun. And then he's got ab crunch. Real good ab crunch. He's got nothing in the way of his chest. Slight. Yeah, he's got the left, right, and ab crunch. So that's... Really good. Full head movement, left, right, up. For some reason, restricted back, but down. It's got good movement there. So, I think he's a little bit smaller. I think the box that he was like 6.3 inches, just a tad smaller than your typical 6.5. But I'm pretty sure. Yes, he sizes up. I think maybe his hat helps. Yeah, looks like he's probably a tad bit smaller, about the same as Firefly. Yeah, looks like he's a little bit bigger than about the same. It's hard as hell with his stupid cap. Again, I can't stand stupid sailor uniforms. But yeah, he's about the same size as a Marvel Legends, if not a little bit bigger than like Baron Zemo. But again, like I said, if you like Shipwreck, buy him. If you don't like me, don't buy him. The reason I bought him because, or I got him, is because I'm just trying to get all the figures in the line or as much as I can. But, and right now I'm trying to... 
Yeah, we don't have any naval representation besides Recon Diver, which is a much better figure. You're better off just taking his head, throwing the hair on it, throw him on the Recon Diver, and make you a little Navy SEAL shipwreck. Or if you want to do, I mean, he's good if you want to have like a retro line. You can throw him in with your retro line um, to have the cartoon feel. But yeah, I can never stand shipwreck, so. But overall, yeah, this leg has a QC issue here, that knee is kind of loose. But overall, if you're in the shipwreck, get them. If you're like me, can't stand them, I would never bought them, honestly. But since I'm chasing the line now, since I have so many, it's not a reason I bought them. And you know, it'll look cool with the, uh, if you have like a cartoon, a retro setup, he looks just like it. So, oh, that's that. So, but yeah, there we go. Shipwreck, the screw up. Like, comment, subscribe. JJ out.